now available in e-readers everywhere why 70% of black women are single. Learn the real reasons why 70% of black women are single in this e-book which breaks down all the reasons why black women just can't get a man. Why 70% of black women are single is now available in e-readers everywhere. This is going to be part five of my video series, Black Woman, Do You Want to Be Somebody's Wife? Or Do You Want to Be Somebody's Woman? And if you want to check out the other four parts, you may do so by clicking the links that are going to be provided in the description box. And I'm going to be creating a playlist for this entire series so that people can watch it from the first part up until the last part. Now in this part five, I'm going to be talking about black woman and how she's not prepared to be a wife under God's natural order and how she disrespects the authority of both the black man and the living God. Now, when it comes down to this black woman, she is not prepared to be a wife in many cases due to these single mother households. And when it comes down to these single mother households, this woman is taught from an early age not to respect male authority. Now, she'll sit there and say she's going to this Christian church and that she believes in God. However, she shows how little respect she has for the living God because she does not re she's not taught at an early age to respect male authority or the authority of the living God because when we look at God's natural order God's natural order is like this it is God the creator of the universe Jesus his son and then man is under Jesus his son and then the woman is under the man and then the, the children are under the woman. That is God's natural order. That is what God established as his order. Unfortunately, when it comes down to black women in single mother households, they are not taught to respect that order because in their minds, they have been taught to buy into the ideas of the white feminist movement, which teaches them that they can be strong and independent and that they don't need a man. Moreover, they don't need to respect the authority of a man. Now when it comes down to men, God gave men power and dominion over the earth. And he also gave men power over women. And he gave them that power as part of his order. Unfortunately, when it comes down to the black woman, she does not respect the power that God has given men, nor does she respect the authority that he has given men. When it comes down to her, she does not respect that order, nor does she respect the authority given to them. So when it comes down to her, she thinks she can do things her own way, and this is why she is ill-prepared to be a wife. A wife clearly understands the order of God, and she understands that if she gets involved with a man that she considers to be her husband, what, will, what she's going to do is submit to, the, to that man's authority and follow his leadership and the reason why she is doing this is because she loves the living God and she trusts in the living God for her God is her Lord and she respects the power of her Lord because she does not want to offend the living gods because she wants to do things to please the living God she does not want to sit there and go outside of his order and defy his authority now, when it comes down to this black woman, she says she believes in God, and she believes in things that are related to religion, but when it comes down to respecting the authority of the living God, that's something she doesn't know how to do, due to the dysfunctional way she has been taught about Christ in these churches by these black pastors, who do not go and talk about how the woman has to submit to the men in her community, and in the same way she would submit to the living God because when it comes down to this female she thinks that she has power and that she has control over everything and she believes this because this is what the white feminists told her that she could be her own woman and she didn't have to submit to anyone under God's order so she's going and submitting to this white feminist order she's not doing what the living God has told her. For her, when she does that, what she's doing is she's defying God's authority. And for her, 
God is not her Lord. The white feminist is her, her, her Lord, and the white liberal is her Lord. So she has turned them into the God that she serves, and she is not serving the living God. And when it comes down to this black female, this is why she has a hard time having relationships with black men, because she does not respect the authority of black men, she does not respect the leadership of black men, and because she does not respect the leadership and authority of black men, she has a hard time being a part of a family in a marriage. This is why, for her, she is more comfortable being somebody's woman than being somebody's wife, because she would rather be able to do whatever she wants without having to be held accountable by the to a man and be held accountable to the living God. She would rather be able to do what she wants, and that's why she would rather be somebody's woman rather than be somebody's wife. And this is why many women from single mother households wind up becoming somebody's woman, because they don't want to acknowledge the authority of the black man that was given to him by the living God. The living God gave the black man authority in his home, and he made him the leader of his home. And that position is meant to be respected and appreciated. And today, thanks to the feminist movement, most black women do not respect black men, nor do they respect the position that God gave black men, nor do they respect the authority that black men were given over black women by the living God. No, they don't respect that hierarchy, nor do they respect the power and authority of that hierarchy, and that's why they go out of their way to circumvent that authority by creating this whole position of the woman for themselves. They would rather be these independent women than be a part of God's natural order. They want to be their own women, and this is why they cannot find a suitable husband to get married to, because again, in order to be married, a woman has to understand her role as a woman, which is to be the help meet and support to that man. And what that means is she has to help meet the needs of that man in taking care of that family in doing God's work. So that woman has to do help that man do the work. And she has to, in order to do that, she has to submit to this man's leadership and she has to acknowledge this man's position as the head of the family, and she has to respect his authority as the head of the family, and respect that position that was given to him by God. But most black women don't want to do that. They want to be their own women, and that's why they go into this feminist ideology talking about things like they can be an independent woman, they can be the mother and the father, and all of these tenets of this feminist movement are outside the order of God. Because when, it, when a woman says she can be her own woman, what she is do saying is that she has no respect, not just for this black man, but she has no respect for the living God. Moreover, she has no respect for the authority of the living God because she's blatantly defying his, his, his orders and defying his natural order and defying his authority because when you serve the living God he is not just your savior he is also your Lord and as your Lord you are saying that when you acknowledge Jesus Christ as the son of the living God and say that he died for all of your sins and paid your sin debt in full when you take his gift of salvation what you are doing is saying that you will submit to his authority and you are submitting to doing things his way. And what most black women want to do is they want to be able to say, to, to say that they are Christian, but they don't want to follow that one tenet of the, of the Bible and the authority of the living God, which is submitting to the, his authority by being a part of a marriage as a help, meet, and support. So what they do is they create this false position with these feminists and white liberals of the welfare state of this woman and they think that this woman is a good position and this is not a good position because again you are outside the order of God and you are outside of God's authority so 
what's going to happen to you is you're going to get caught up with the devil and you're just going to keep hitting the wall because God's order will not be broken. No matter how you try to change it or how you try to fix it, it's going to fall apart. And this is why the black community has fallen into a black hole over the last 50 years because we have these black females who want to be their own women and what's happening is the children that they're raising in these single mother households are completely dysfunctional because they are outside of God's natural order and they are outside of God's authority and this is why they are growing up to become reprobate and completely dysfunctional because they don't understand God's natural order nor do they understand that how to respect the authorities that God has established over black women and the black community. Because they do not respect the, the black man, nor do they respect the authority given to the black man by the living God, this is why the black community is in chaos. Because you have to understand that as, as God is our Lord, we're supposed to respect, we show respect to him by following his orders and doing what he tells us to do and respecting his position as Lord as and the authority he has as the Lord. This is something most black women don't know how to do when they come from single mother households and this is why many of them don't become wives and they wind up becoming somebody's woman. And when you become somebody's woman, what's going to happen to you is you're going to wind up becoming spiritually lost and you want to wind up with no direction. This is why many of these so-called single, successful, well-educated black females out here are having such a hard time finding, finding men to become their husband because they want to be the leader over the man. They want to have the power over the man. They want to be the authority over the man. But that's not the way God established his order to be. Again, his order is that God is the creator of the universe and the head of all. Jesus, his son, is the, is the one who reigns over the earth. The man is the person he has put over the earth for day to day. And the woman is supposed to be under the man. And the children are supposed to be under the woman. That is the order he established. Unfortunately, when it comes down to the black woman, she wants to be married under an order under her own terms where she is the one at the top, the children are under her, and then all the way at the bottom under the pets is the black man. And then God is up under the black man. So we look at that order, that order is never going to work because how can a order work where the supreme creator of the universe is at the bottom and his authority and the authority of the man he placed in, or in charge of the world is being put at a bottom level and she's at the top. That that order doesn't work at all. All that order is going to do is create chaos because that order is dysfunctional. You cannot get an order that from, that's dysfunctional to function. Unfortunately, when it comes down to this black female, she has been trying to fit the square peg into the round hole and thinks that this is going to work, but it is never going to work because she doesn't understand that when it comes down to the living God, he will continue to let you continue hitting the same wall over and over again until you do things the way he established them to be. And when it comes down to this black female, that's all she's been doing for the last 50 years by trying to follow the tenets of this white feminism is hitting that wall and then winding up becoming miserable until the day she dies. It just never registers in her mind that if you want a husband and you want to be the wife to a husband, you have to acknowledge the power of God and you have to acknowledge the authority of God and you have to follow the order established by the living God. If you'd like to learn more about the reasons that black women are single, I urge you to pick up my ebook, Why 70% of Black Women, on Amazon.com. You can purchase it by clicking the link in the description box. And if you'd like to see me make more videos, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.